Hello everybody, this is Janice. Um, I made this cute little valentine last night and I wanted to show you how I made it. So let's get started. I did use the Cricut Artiste cartridge from Close to My Heart and I used some valentine paper that I got on clearance from Michaels a couple weeks ago. I'll show you the paper pack. In case you have it, it is, what's it called, Circus Valentine. I was thinking that, I didn't even know what it was called, and I kept thinking this paper is very circusy. So I just love the reds and yellows and just the tone of all the colors in it. I decided to try the very first card, and I'm going to make the envelope too, but not in this video. Um, so I cut the card at 5 inches, and then I cut a second one. So here's the card out of that paper. Cute, huh? And then I cut a second one, just a little bit smaller, because I wanted a second layer. And I cut it at... 4.861 and I just went in my Cricut craft room and I just sized it to whatever I thought and I cut it where the little marks are for folding it, for scoring it and um, then I ran just this side through this embossing folder called Heart Blocks from Cuddlebug or Provocraft, whatever and then, um, so that's going to go there, and then this piece is for the inside. So we've done that. And then I cut from page 65, page 65, I cut this accent here, which goes to the little stamp from the bundle. This is one of the stamp sets from the bundle. I wanted to do Love You, so this is cut at one, one and a half inches. Okay, so that's that. So I think that's it. That's all the... Oh, and then of course, my little feature critter here. He is from the Noah's ABC cartridge. And he, he was cut at two and a half inches, okay? So, and he has three layers, and I did him in three different colors, or three different shades of green to make him interesting, and then I did a little bit of stamping. So, let's get started, and you'll see what I did. Okay, so first, let's just deal with this layer here. And what I have here is the Faded Jeans Distress Ink. And I'm just going to distress the edges. And this paper that I used is a coordinations paper. I love the texture of the coordinations paper and I love that you can distress it. This one is not a, um, a core, color core one. I just like the way it cuts and the way it looks. And it has this texture side. This happens to be a pack that I got at Hobby Lobby quite some time ago. And like I said, when I was getting ready for the crop, I unearthed just a bunch of treasures. Now this has the little tick marks so I'm not even gonna get my score tool out or anything. I'm just gonna, or my bone folder, I'm just gonna fold it there and it folds quite nicely and then that's gonna go right there. And then before we go on to any other layers, I did trim from the cream colored paper that I used for this piece for the speech bubble, I cut this little banner, and it is, 
Oh, goodness, it's kind of an odd shape. I just... Mm, one, two, three, four, it's almost five, five-eighths or something like that of an inch. I'm not sure. I was just kind of playing around last night and this came about, so and I'm going to texture it. Or, um, it's going to run it through the crimper here. I'm going to not run it all the way through. I think that looks cute. And then we're going to just add some of this faded jeans to it. And I felt like it needed some red. I'm not doing it exactly the way. Actually, why not? Let's get the... I actually used some washi tape. This one's... This one happens to be from Target. So I'm going to cut it, then I'm going to use my scissor to make a little banner cut. This may be a two-part video from the looks of it. Okay. Now to adhere this piece, I'm going to use liquid glue because if I don't, when I put the ETG on that, it's going to smush the crimps down. So I'm just going to use my Tombow Multi liquid glue. I like it very much because of the um, tip there. It doesn't blob out as much for me as the other. Now I have this ribbon that I got for Christmas time. And I didn't like it because it's got all that white in it, the white stitching. So what I did to combat that, I'll show you what, what I did. Let's cut this first. Let's trim it out. Got a piece of washi tape stuck to my finger. Alright, so we're going to cut a little piece. we're going to cut it in a banner as well. All I do is fold it in half in case you're new and not sure how to do this. So that you get that little V. And I can tell that this is going to fray. So what you do is you get a lighter. scrap bag. I don't know where it is, but anyway, I usually take the lighter and just heat it a little bit to melt it and seal it at the end. And so I just want to put that there. But I didn't like that white there, so this is old paper distress stain. And all I'm doing is staining it so that the white is not white, and then you can heat it with the heat tool. Ah. Got it with the tweezers so it doesn't blow away. I'm going to put it 
all the way out like that. So we're going to add the ATG. Uh. You know what? It might be because of the... Let's see. I really do prefer the tape that I get from finetape.com. This isn't even sticking. I did dry this off. You saw me do it. Let's use, you know what? When in doubt, you know what? This really is still wet. That's why I can feel it. That's why the adhesive isn't sticking to it. I was trying to do a quick video here, but nope. I'll come back with part two.